What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's the HNIC McAvee, the Don, and I'm here today with another board game series of videos and things. Look, man, I I told y'all in the last version of this, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a link in the description and there's a card over there. Check out the first version of this. I don't play horror games. I just don't. It's not something that I aspire to do. It's not something that I enjoy. I don't even watch horror movies. This is just not my thing. Uh, however, I'm also very cognizant that people enjoy seeing people play horror games just like I enjoy seeing people play horror games. So in order for the growth of the channel to grow, I need to get uncomfortable, right? This is already an uncomfortable endeavor. Every day hopping in front of a camera, sitting in front of this, talking to you guys, even though I have no clue who's going to see the video and I don't know who what you look like. So I figured if I could sit here on camera in front of y'all and bear my soul, the least I could do is be scared for y'all. You know what I mean? So we're going today to attempt to play. Please pay attention to the words I'm using. Today, we're going to attempt to play three horror games. The first game we're starting with today, ladies and gentlemen, is called The Smiling Man. And if you see this weird ass nigga on my screen right now, you'll understand why I said we're going to attempt to play. We're gonna play this game. And if all things go well, we'll play another game. And if all things go well, we'll play a third game. But I'm going to do as much horror game playing today as I can muster. It is late. Matter of fact, Where's my phone? It is 1.26 a.m. Alone at night and a weird ass nigga smiling at me. So to me, I feel like this is a perfect environment, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm at it, bro. Let's get it. Noxus Game Studio is the company that made, or the studio that made this. This music is, cr this music is cranking. All oh, this shit is loud, y'all. This is loud. I have a habit of leaving everything for the night. Uh, well, that's true. Yeah, many say that this hobby of mine is strange. And then I decided to go shopping at the market for dinner at dawn. But tonight, I came face to face with evil. It was a horrible, scary experience. It was 2 a.m. Nigga, stop. It's, it's damn near 1.30 now. Bro, bro, don't act like that. Okay, why the fuck would I go to the market at 2.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, bro? What market is open at 2 o'clock in the morning? You know what? Maybe this may pre-roll up, bro. No, nigga, no. He... Interact. He watches you all the time. Even at bedtime. All the time. Yes, sir. Gonna just uh, put that back down. Which way is the market, y'all? Go to the market, nigga, where? All right, if I had to make a guess, y'all were going this way. We're gonna take a right ski, go down the street. Bro, this is unnerving, bro. I got goose pimples already, bro. We ain't done shit yet. Who the fuck is that? Excuse me, sir. Why's my kid? Hold on. Mouse, don't act like that, bro. Look at that nigga while you walk down the street, bro. Yep, keep it on him so you can't see him no more. Yep. You that nigga alone, bro. I'm too tired to run now. Dog, if you're too tired to run, why did you decide to walk to the grocery store at 2 a.m. in the morning? What are all these lights? Are these supposed to be stars? Am I going the right way? I can't be. Yeah, the road just ended. No, it's it's still dark, y'all. No, 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 no. I'm assuming I went the wrong way. What we're gonna do now is go back past where we. But no, the guy was there, so I must be going the right way, right? Logically speaking, maybe I went too far. Let's uh. Okay, so you can sprint, but just not right now. You're too tired right now. But you're walking like I can't I can't imagine bro 2 a.m. in the morning and you got inspired to walk Who is that nigga and I came across the street I'll just keep going this way No, it doesn't make sense because where's my house? All right, let's get back to the house 
Bro, I want to sprint, bro, because I'm not trying to stay here and waste y'all time, bro. That's the picture, right? It's facing that way. I'm like, no, I was going the right way. God dang it. All right, I'm going to just cut to when I get over there, bro. Just, y'all know what it looks like, shit. What do you mean you're too tired to run now, nigga? There's no light, bro. I'm going to just keep going straight, y'all. If I get scared, it is what it is, bro. I don't know if I'm going in the right direction. I can't even tell. Nope, that's the phone booth. I have to go in the right direction. Is that a flashlight? Do I have a flashlight? No. It's the corner store. It's the market, y'all. I'm at the market. I'm surprised this... Oh, my God. Look at this alien head ass nigga, bro. Bro, where'd you get them pants? Are those jeans? They can't be, bro. He got the secret leggings. <laughs> With the Spud 900s, bro. Golly. All right. Why am I here, bro? Okay. I just hit Ina and a rat. And I, I bought something. Or I bought. I picked up something. I'm going to guess I'm going to go here. And do the do the same thing. Or maybe I, I, already, I guess I already finished shopping. It was $1.81. You mean to tell me we left up out of our house at 2 a.m. in the morning to buy $1.81 worth of... What did you possibly buy that was a dollar and eighty-one cents that you needed so bad that your bitch ass couldn't wait till morning, bro? Alright. Oh my god! Who are you? What is up with the music, bro? Why is that nigga just standing there, bro? What do you mean I'm too tired to run now? That nigga went from in the middle of the walkway to standing outside the store with us, nigga. You need to chop. You need to chop, sir. He's right there. Now now you gonna chop? No? You just gonna look at that nigga? Yeah, he's just cooling, right? He's just minding his own sweet and lovely. Yep, you don't think there's any point of running. Not now? No. You saw the nigga outside the store. Then you saw the nigga down the street going to the store. Now he's gonna be in front of us. Yes. And so we need to be ready to chop. So I'm ready, bro. My hands on the on the sticks. My hands on the keyboard, bro. I'm ready, bro. If we need to chop, I'm here with it, bro. If we need to chop, I'm here with it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with it. We're going to full speed, knees to chest, home. If all right, no, we're home. Oh my god! What the fuck? Why are you standing here? Are you good? I better not get close. He's outside your house. All right, just back up into the front door, bro. Go in the house. Go in the house. The next night? You saw that nigga the first night, and then you decided the next night? What are you going to the market for that you need it so bad that you go at nighttime, sir? You didn't go during the day? You bought. You saw that nigga slide up, bro? Hi, sir. I can't cross the street to talk to you. But obviously, I know that based on the title of this game, I'm going to have to run from you soon. And I and I just, I don't understand why. If I have to go back to, listen. Press space to skip. What the fuck is that? Is he wandering down the street towards me, y'all? Oh, that nigga wandering down the street. All right, I'm ready, bro. I'm gonna set up. I'm setting up. Good posture. You need good posture when you're about to chop, right? Be ready. I'm ready, bro. Look at this nigga tiptoeing. Why am I still standing here? Hi, sir. How are you? Got this music cranking in my earphones. What the hell do you want? Does it matter? No, we're not. Go home. I think this is why I don't play horror games, bro. Because like, I'm partially scared, but I'm mostly angry. But the the scared and anger are all in one kind of ball, and they're just 
fighting for supremacy right now, bro. And I ebb between being freaked out and being pissed off. Because if I go back to this fucking market for one dollar and eighty-one cents worth of food, I'm be pissed because we could have spit. Oh shit! Run! 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 Oh, that nigga's on the ass! Run! Run to the store! Go! I know he's behind us. Go! Run faster! Run faster! Get to the store! The store clerk is dead, y'all. Oh, fuck, bro. Oh, fuck, bro. Nigga. Nigga. Ooh, well, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Yep, yep. Bad ending. I'm gonna just wrap this one up, right? And I'm gonna catch on in, in the next uh, in the next game because I'm not really sure how else was that supposed to end. What's going on, y'all? We're back at it with another game. This game is called Uncle Pink <laughs> Uncle Panko's Terrible Little Farm. After whatever the fuck that last game was, I was like, you know what? Let's ride the wave of what the hell is this shit, shall we? So uh, I don't know what this game is about. We're supposed to to, to I guess help on a farm. So let's dive in, shall we? Okay. Yep. We're on a bus to my dear nephew. Greetings, Stephen. It is I, your uncle Panko. Hope you're doing well. Your parents tell me that you're a student to graduate. A fine achievement, indeed, Quentin. It feels like just yesterday you could almost or you could barely walk and talk. Now you're almost fully grown. How the time flies. Looking back, it seems that I haven't actually seen you in person since then, and for that I apologize. I've just been so busy at the farm nowadays. Which brings me to the point of this letter. I would like to invite you to spend the summer here with me. It would be nice to have some help and we can really make up for all the lost time. If you'd like to accept my offer j- Wasn't our name Quentin? If you would like to accept my offer, Jeremy, all you have to do is take the bus to the farthest stop on the, at the outskirts of the next town over. Once you get there, just follow the dirt path cutting through the woods. My farm is just around the corner. Hope to see you soon. Uncle Panko. I could have sworn he said our name was Quentin initially. Now our name's Jeremy. I don't know. I'll see you again in post. Can I move yet? Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, this, this is weird. Um, so you said go down past the last bus stop. And then he said something about a dirt path, right? Yeah. So it must be this way. Let me just follow this dirt path through the Yeah, through the woods. All right, we're going the right way. All right, here's the other thing I, I didn't get a chance to explain in the last gameplay. When I play horror games, I can literally feel the goosebumps raise on my arm when I play these games right now. But that's because I have an overactive ass imagination. I've, ever, I've always had one ever since I was a damn child. So it just is what it is. You learn to accept it after a while. All right, what's this say? Michael, my boy. So we were Quentin, then we were Jeremy, and now we're Michael. I'm glad you decided to come visit. Unfortunately, something unexpected came up, and I'll be gone for the first few days of your stay. Would you mind doing some of my housework or doing some work around the farm until I return? I know it's a lot to ask since you'll be all by yourself, but if anyone can handle it, you can, Robert. I left a few more instructions around the house to help you. I'll take on the majority of the work once I get back. The key to the front door is located under the little goblin on the porch, and the home is on the second floor. Make yourself at home. Uncle Panko. All right, so we were Michael, Robert, Kelly, Jimmy, Bobby. I guess we're part of the Jackson Five, bro. And he just, he's like, one of y'all niggas come help me. That's my assumption, bro. Because if it's not that, I don't know. 
All right, let's shut this. Let's shut the door. We can we can shut the door. Yeah, yeah. Please, please, game. All right, cool. So we just we just gonna leave the front door wide open. Unk got a kind of swagged out. Uh, this actually low key hella swagged out for like a farm, bro. Look at this. He got a whole little uh bar, bro. He got a little big box television. He got the little bass gimmick on the wall. But does it say? Seeming them be the boo. No, no, you know, bro. I know you at least say the national anthem, right? No, nope, he don't say shit. Cause that's the actual bass. The clock don't work either. Unk, you gotta. You gotta have things that match, bro. You got a whole bothered ass place. You got a typewriter. Fuck, you got a typewriter for, nigga. But you don't have no electricity. If you don't have no electricity, then why would you have a television? Unk, Unk is a. Uh... Okay, I can shut that door, but I can't reach out the front door. All right, cool. Let's go upstairs to our bedroom, shall we? Nope. This is uh bathroom I thought that was be like the all right can't shut that door again either all right wonderful up the stairs we go y'all on to our bedroom which is one of these three rooms was this not the right room nope what about this room yep so here's our bedroom we got a little guitar can't string that bitch though got a cup Little matches and shit. Clock appears at a different time than the one downstairs. They must have broke. Hey man, broke clocks twice, right twice a uh, day, right? So I guess Unk just uh, said bump it. It's five o'clock somewhere, and every year is leap year. Just uh, to hell with parliamentary procedure. How did the front door get shut? When I tried to shut it, and it wouldn't shut. All right, but leave it alone. My stuff's upstairs. Uh, uh, if this is a farm, bro, where's your where's your cattle? Where's your chickens? Anything, bro? Lenny. All right, we've been Quentin, Ricky. I see you found the barn. The cows can be quite rowdy, especially on Sundays, Thursdays, and the second Wednesday of every. The cows can be quite rowdy on Sundays, Thursdays, and the second Wednesday of every other month. So if you hear any odd sounds coming from inside, pay them no mind. I fed them a lot to do before I left so they wouldn't bother you today. Tomorrow, however, I would like for you to let them out and graze. Okay. The key to the barn door is hanging in the entryway of the house. Please leave it locked until the sun comes up tomorrow. Uncle Panko. I can do that, unks. So if you need me to... How did the letter end up on the door, yo? Matter of fact, nope. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Get that, get that cup right. Hope y'all got something to drink while y'all watching too. You know, Pepsi, Gatorade, water, milk, juice. Hey man, maybe even cereal milk. Who knows, bro? Hope you enjoying your beverage of choice today, on this fine whatever the hell day this video went up. Dearest nephew, apologies, but I forgot to mention something important. Life out in the wilderness can be a bit rougher than life in the suburbs, especially at night. Not all the time, but enough that some caution is warranted. So before the sun fully sets each day, I need you to go inside the house and remain there until it rises again. Today, specifically, you need to make sure to shut and lock the back and front doors in that order. Back, then front, before going to bed as well. Uncle Panko. Dog, how long is this going to be, bro? Grab the sickle, nigga. We... We ain't done shit yet. So let's. He said back then front, right? Say less, bro. Shut the door. Back. The door shut initially. Then front. So we locked the back and then the front. We read all the notes. So let's go to bed, yo. Let's go to bed and see what this game talking about. Okay. Can I shut my door at least? Please. Please bump me. All right, say less, bro. First day at Uncle Panko's farm. I guess I'm I'm just call myself a uh, dumbass because uh, Unc got all these damn notes around the house and he ain't here and he just magically appear when I leave and I'm still here. Shit.
she is. If I kept walking around and Unk had various notes in his house just strew about. Oh, no, we got to go inside and get the key. Put the uh, cows out to graze. Yes. Yep. So now let's go let the cows out, y'all. Who let the cows out? Dumbass. That's who did it. This dumbass did it. That is terrifying. Look at these 2D demon cows that I just unleashed into the world, bro. What do I have to do with them? Uh, I have to feed them, right? No. You said you want to let them out to grace. There's another cow. Hi, other cow. You should be. Other cow, you need to go inside too. Not all the cows can just be out here wilding, bro. Cow, come back. You can't keep just leaving the farm, sir. Come back to the crib. I don't have time to deal with this, bro. Bring your ass back to the crib. Come on. Come, come. Nigga, go back to the house. All right, Kyle, come on. Do I have you? Are you in my possession? I'm assuming he's in my possession. Yeah, you're in my possession. Come on. All right, so we got the cow. The gate now shutting out is a new note from Uncle. What's my name now? Mogi. All right, cool. Probably doing well. I'm very proud because I was scared for livestock. If you'd harvest some of my crops today, purpose to be uh, the purple stuff to be specific. Grab the sickle next to the gate and get started whenever you're ready. Make sure to keep an eye on your surroundings while you're harvesting. The field is small, more like a patch than anything else, but some little rascals still tend to hide in there when the crops are at their tallest. Don't worry too much about it. Just stay on your toes and you'll do fine. Uncle Panko. What critters, Unc? Y'all, with this jank, bro, with this mouse acting up, bro, I don't know how the hell we gonna do this. I'm sitting here looking at this bitch right now. Like, you better get right, bro. Because if I need to turn, I cannot just die. So I got stuck. So look, he said harvest, right? Here's what we're going to do. We're smart, nigga. We're doing this in lines, bro. Random people, they would just run balls deep into the into the mix. I'm not that. I'm built different. Like a Chevrolet. What in the fuck? Is that uh, I guess I'm back in the house. Okay. Is this the same day, different day? I don't know. We're about to find out. I guess we step outside. Is this a different day? Is this the same day? It's the same day. So I guess I failed somehow. Was I supposed to do something? But here's what I don't understand. I was harvesting crops, right? And then the big inflatable showed up and then I died. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Why did the music stop, y'all? Why did the music stop, y'all? Is that nigga right there? Am I supposed to cut him? Oh! I think I'm supposed to stop them from growing. Oh, I get it. Okay, I get it now, y'all. No, 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 no. Let's get this last one and get the hell out of here. All right, cool. All right, y'all. We got the... uh we got the shit. Um, am I supposed to lock y'all back up? All right. Well, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Oh, there's another note. One second. Christopher. All right. For 
first off, if you can't get my name right, I'm not helping you. I don't mean no harm, disrespect. I used to work for a bitch ass nigga who could never get my name right. And that getting my name wrong bothers me to no end. In this scenario where Uncle Panko's out here just calling you whatever the fuck, the moment that nigga hit me with another note that had my name wrong, I'd have been gone, bro. Thank you again for doing all this while I'm gone. I promise you won't have to spend your whole summer here doing work around the farm. Why don't you just herd the cows back into the barn and take the rest of the day off? Just ring the chime next to the barn door three times exactly, and they'll return. They'll take it from there. After that, you can head on back in the house. Uncle Panko, understandable. He said ring it exactly three times, right? I'm assuming he means that bell, but let's just look. Let's just look. All right, he said exactly three times, right? One, two, three. Oh, and they, there's a door shut. The answer to my question. All right, cool. So we're done for today. Why is, how did the, all right. Rise and shine, today you're gonna meet my chickens, or rather my chickens' eggs, as they should have laid a good amount of them by now. I'd like for you to go out to the coop and gather them. There's a basket on the kitchen counter you can use to hold them. Just put it back where you found it when you're done. Oh, and one more thing. Chickens make easy prey for some of the local wildlife and the eggs are even easier. So stay on guard and don't let anything sneak up on you while you're distracted gathering eggs. But most importantly, have fun. No. No, y'all, no. No, what kind of farm is this? What you mean sneak up on me, nigga? This is probably Uncle Panko right here, bro. This garden gnome head ass nigga. You know what's scary though? I really smooth thought that when I did this, his head was gonna turn to me. And I was like, well, that's a wrap. All right, let's go find Debo's chicken coop, bro. Uh, I'm assuming it's gotta be this. They said, look, oh, get the basket off the counter when you found it, which is right in front of the garden gnome. All right, I had to take inventory of that. All right, y'all. We're gonna just. I don't understand. What do you want me to do? Yep, yep, yep. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What the fuck is that? All right, cool. Shut that shit. Oh, door shuts naturally. My boy, thank you again for helping around the farm. I know it might not have exactly been fun, especially not by yourself. Hope you might grow to love this land as I have. Anyway, I think you've done everything important for now. I think. Feel free to spend the rest of your day as you wish. Just head to bed whenever you get tired. I'm sure I didn't forget anything. Uncle Panko. He said he didn't think he forgot nothing. So we're just going to go upstairs and go to bed, bro. Yep, yep, yep. I'm tired. It was a hard day collecting chicken eggs. Yep, go to sleep. Dog. I was literally about to say, I'm going to do one more day. What the fuck is this, y'all? Y'all? What the fuck is going on, y'all? Y'all. Do I have a flashlight? No, I don't. Do I have a lighter? Can I sprint? I can. I don't like... I'm not supposed to be here. I am not supposed to be here. Why did I leave? I should have gone back to sleep. Guys, it's dark, bro. It's super dark, bro. You know what? Here, hold on. Let's take a sweet. Hey, Amen. If y'all appreciate me suffering my fears, so y'all, for y'all enjoying, bro, put a like on the video, bro. Ah. All right. Let's go downstairs, yo. Yes, we need to be on our toes, mouse. Let's go to check the couch. Y'all, I don't like this, bro. I'm here, though. I'm here, though. Bright eyed and bushy tailed, ready for the day, bro. I don't know why I'm up, bro. I would have went back to sleep, bro. If this was me, I would have gone back to bed, bro. The basement, the back door is locked, y'all. The back door is locked, y'all. The back door is locked, y'all. The back door is locked. Okay, guys, we're going through the front door. Going through the front door. What the fuck is that? 
Nephew, I think I forgot to mention something I never forgotten before. The goblin that you took the house key from when you first arrived, there's a non-zero chance that it might have been replaced by a gnome. And if you took the key from it, you have effectively invited it into the house to stay. I don't own any gnomes, but one of my neighbors do, and it doesn't like to share. Hmm. I won't sugarcoat it. You're in serious trouble. By the time you finish reading this note, I reckon you'll have about one minute to find the gnome in the house and give it back before its owner gets inside to take it. Check everywhere you can think of around corners, inside cabinets, everywhere. It could be hiding anywhere. Once you find it, just open the front door and throw it outside. Literally, just throw the thing out. Uncle Panko is going to be the last line. Fuck! All right. Let's get it, yo. One minute, right? Minute to win it. Banging the mouse so it's ready. All right, yo. We're good. Let's go. We have a minute. We have a minute. We have a minute. We have one minute. We have one minute. We have one minute. We have one minute. Okay. Uh, we have one minute, y'all. That nigga's gonna bust in this door, bro. Oh, that's it. Grab that nigga. Go. Oh, shit. I gotta turn around, y'all. Go. Go to the front door. Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. 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 That's at the front door. I don't like it, y'all. We're dead. We're dead. There's my favorite nephew. How great to find you after all the time. Quite a bit short that I remember. Look at Uncle. I'm sorry I was gone for so long. I hope you weren't too bored here all by yourself. Hmm, no sure as weird creatures from the field and the forest. I'm certainly sent you the one letter and left one note from the front on the front door before you arrived. You must have had nightmares of some kind. I don't blame you. It'd be a little scary out here sometimes, especially on your own. We don't have to worry about that anymore. How about I make us breakfast and I'll give you a grand old tour of the property? I'll be ready for a summer of fun. Summer of fun. Oh, I got a good ending. Let's go. That game took longer than I anticipated, but I enjoyed that experience in, a, in the grand scheme. So, hey man, clap it up. Clap it up for this guy, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, remember I said we're going to attempt to do three, but we're going to see how everything lands. <laughs> well, after that, it's now two o'clock. And to keep it being with you, I don't know that my heart nor my, my liver can take anymore. <laughs> so, with that, I will bid you adieu today. So, this was two scary games uh, The Smiling Man and Uncle Pinkle's Terrible Little Farm. If you guys enjoyed this video, man, Y'all already know what to do, bro. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit them posty noties, bro. Go ahead, follow the channel on TikTok. On these horror gameplays, bro, if y'all think of something, if y'all see a gameplay that y'all, or a game that y'all know was kind of short, but would be interesting for me to play, bro, put it in the comment section. I, you know, any and all information is helpful to me, man. But with that being said, for me, for the little smile, for the smiling man, and for Uncle Panko, we like to say thank you for watching, and we will see y'all when we see y'all. Peace.